this is basic math in Excel 2013. So I'm going to press enter. I'm sorry, I'm going to press 2 first before I press enter. And you'll see it's in an active cell. There's a line around it, a box, a bowl that you can see, and there's a little square here in the corner. which every time I have a white, thick white cross, when I put it over there in the corner, it goes to a thin black cross. Okay, I am now in A2. This is your name range box up here. I'm going to press 2, press Enter. And I'm going to select, instead of me pressing 2, enter, 2, enter, 2, enter, let me just delete those. This time I'm going to select cell A1 and A2 with the thick white cross. And I'm going to put the mouse right here in the lower right hand corner and I'm going to just drag it down. And look at that, it's going to give me the same number straight down. Now, I can go equal, which is always first, sum, open parenthesis, drag the mouse down, and as you can see, it's A1 colon A7, close the parenthesis, enter. There it is right here in A8 and right here in our formula bar. Okay, this is addition. Okay, and in column C1 we have 100 minus in C2 25. So, of course, you know what goes first, the equal sign, C1 minus C2. Do not worry about capitalizing the letters when you're writing the formula, because when you press enter, as you can see right here in the formula bar, and right here in cell, C3, the computer capitalizes that for you, so don't worry about that. Okay, in column E, equal sign always goes first. E1, multiply, which is hold down the shift key and press the number 8. E2, press enter. And as you can see here, this is your multiplication. Okay, last but not least, in G1, type in 100, press enter, in G2, and again, equal sign, G1, and your question mark is lowercase. That is the question mark. That is the forward slash. G2. Press enter. And there you have it. When you click again in the formula bar, you see the formula and you see this is division. 
Now you will notice here that subtraction and multiplication, they look as though they're bleeding over into the next cell. They are not. In order to make the words fit, put the mouse in the upper right hand corner of the top of the column, double click, there you go. Same thing here. Column E, we're just going to double click right there, and there you go. Now, here's another thing. I would like these words to be centered in each of their cells, but I don't want to have to go to each one. One at a time. If I have, this is four, what if you had several? So, what I'm going to do is select one, hold down the control key, select the second one, third one, and the fourth one. And then this way, I can bold, center, and I can change the color. And I can also change the background. Or I can single out the background for more colors. And I can change this to an even lighter green. So now I have changed the color of all the text and the backgrounds of all the answers, oh, of all the text. Also, if you want to see the cells, if you want to see the formulas in the cells, here's what you do. We're going to hold down the control key and press the tilde. I'm going to make these columns real narrow. Really narrow. Oops. Let me just... bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. In here is where you can see you can see the formulas that we put in here. And that is control plus tilde. This is how you get this. Another thing you want to do is if you ever want to show somebody something, go to print preview And you can edit, it will actually print. Those formulas will print on a page. Let's go to page layout, portrait, margins. Let's go to a custom margin. Let's see if I can squeeze these all on one page. And 
and here they are. So if you needed to show something to your boss to prove that you've got your the formula correct, you could actually print out your sheet showing the formula. Equal sign everything. So in order to remove this, just hold down the control key, press the tilde key, which is on, it's under the escape key, and it's over on the left-hand side of number one. And that's how it works. So now I can go back and there we have it. I, I will insert now if you insert let me just do that again. If you if you select one, it will insert one row or column. However, I'm going to select two. Right click, I'm on the rows, insert, and now it inserted two rows. So now I can have type in basic math in Excel. 2013, I can hold down the mouse, go straight across, go to Merge and Center. I can bold that, give it a nice background, can even make it a little bit bigger. I can even change the colors. So, thank you. There you have it. If I want to delete the row, I can delete it. And if I want to shorten the rows, I could shorten it. But, that is basic math in Excel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And we are available for classes, so see you, hopefully, in one of my classes.